Hello and welcome. My name is Ahmad Khan. I am a cyber security researcher and a programmer. Uh, and today's lecture, uh, I will try to teach you how we can reverse C programming language program in order to find correct uh, activation key. So before diving into this lecture, I'm going to give you uh, just a quick idea about reverse engineering. What does it mean by reverse engineering? Reverse engineering is the process of analyzing software or hardware to understand how it's work and, and to uncover its design uh, and functionality. Uh, basically, the goal of uh, reverse engineering is to reverse engineer uh, a system or program usually to determine how it functions or to discover potential security vulnerabilities. Uh, when it's come to a reverse engineer of C and C++ code, the process involved disassembling the code into its constitute part, analyzing each part and then reassembling them in order to understand how the program works. Uh, this process totally can be done by using reverse engineering tools called debuggers such as OLED, BGIDA Pro and Gadra. Uh, now, first of all, uh, what is mean by disassembling the code? Disassembling code involves taking compiled code and break it down into its assembly language instruction. This can be a difficult process. This code can be optimized in a first in order to make it more difficult to reverse engineer. However, once the code has been disassembled, it can be analyzed to understand how it's work. Now, how we can do this with C or C++ program? One common technique used in C and C++ reversing or reverse engineering is called function tracing. So what does it mean by function tracing? Function tracing means the execution of program to determine how it's work. This can be done by placing breakdown at certain point in the code and then stepping through the program to see how it's executed. We can do stepping as an debugger as I said before like OLEDBG. Uh, so this can help to uncover potential security vulnerabilities or to understand how a program works. Now another technique is code patching. Code patching involves modifying the code of a program in order to change its behavior. This can be done to fix bugs in a new feature or to circumvent security measurement. So in this lecture, I will write a program in C programming language. Uh, the program will prompt user for an activation key and check if it, make, uh, if it matches a specific key. If the key is correct, it activates a product and print a message, activate its success, something like this. If the key is incorrect, it print an incorrect message, something like this. Depends on us, whatever do you want to display is a result. Depends totally up to you. So let's get started. Uh, as I said before, I will use C programming language to code this program and to reverse in order to uh, in order to reverse the program i will use uh, gadra gadra is free and open source reverse engineering tool developed by nsa national security agency and united states so let's get started first of all as i said before i will write a program in c programming language so for this i have to include a library uh, i'm using a uh, code block you can use in your type of id and you so i will I will include first of all stdio.h library for input and output function. So stdio.h and then I will include string library. Why I'm including string library? I will I will explain it uh, later on. But first, let me write the code. So right now. I will implement main function for this program. Uh, the main function is defined will be defined is the entry point of the program. Uh, so how I can do this? Um, I will specify the nature of the program. It will be integer. It will, I mean it will return an integer value. So that's why the function type is integer. So now what I'm going to do. This is my C programming language code, but I will implement something inside main function and I will implement one global function. First, I have to implement global function. For this purpose, what I'm going to do, the type will be integer. So this will check the authentication key if it is correct. So the name will be check. So it will take a parameter. The parameter will be key parameter. So it will be character type. So it will be key like 
so what it will does it will return uh, i will use a string function in order to compare the key with the exact key so it will be key and the key will be pass key so if it is equal zero it means that the condition is true so uh, the check auth function takes a string parameter called key and return an integer uh, it uses the strcmp function from the string dot h library to compare the authentication key parameter i mean the key parameter with the pass key if the two string are equal at return zero which is interpreted is true indicated that the key is correct otherwise it return non-zero value which is interpreter is false so hopefully you understand why i included string dot h library because we we need str cmp function in order to compare the key with the exact key that's why uh, we must have to include str string dot h library so my function is done this is a global function so what I have to do inside the main function, uh, first of all, the main function, as I said before, is defined as the entry point of the program. The main function, uh, I will implement there a character array. Uh, it will be like auth key, key, etc, etc. But the capacity of the array will be 128 character. It totally depends on you. You can keep like uh, 100. Uh, now for this purpose what i'm going to do i'm going to create an array as i said before so it will be like key so the size will be 128 bats uh, now what i'm going to do first i will display in a message like um, sorry printf invalid invalid key activation is required so the message will be something like this uh, now what I'm going to do I will take an input activation key from the user so it will be scanf function so the key will be in the form of string so I will store it and the key variable but i have to display some message here enter activation key so i think it's okay so now what i'm going to do i will call the function check out so we will pass a parameter is it taking uh, i will pass an argument is it taking one parameter here so it will be key parameter of course so I'm checking if check out means that if it's true so what I have to return here I have to return print activated successfully else if this condition falls then what I have to display I have to display another message like activation failed so it's done now again uh, let me repeat the program first i have included a library std dot uh, dot h for output and input function you can see this output function this is the input function and string dot h is for strcmp function so i have declared uh, sorry i have defined a global function check on the text key parameter and this function return uh, first of all it compare key with the exact key basically the user entered key with the exact key if it is equal to zero it means that the condition become false uh, sorry true so uh, inside the main function uh, the main function is defined as the entry point of the program it create um, a character array uh, called key um, with a capacity of 128 characters sorry it's not bit 120 uh, it's 128 character i'm so sorry uh, the program prompt the user to enter an activation key by printing uh, an error message the scanf function read a string 
from the user input and stored it in the key variable. The program called the check of function with a, a key parameter and check it retu its uh, return value. If the return value is zero, which means that the key is correct, it print a success message and indicating like uh, you can see activated successfully. If return value is non-zero, which means that the key is incorrect, it print uh, an error message like uh, activation field. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to save it. Mm, sorry, undeclare. I'm so sorry. So now you can see here an invalid key activation is required. Enter activation key. So you can see here. So how I can find the program? The program will be in my document folder. The program is compiled right now. So I'll visit bin, debug, this one. So if I'll open it, and you can see it asking for the activation key. So I will cut it, and I will move to the document folder. And as I said before, I will use gatherer in order to reverse it. We'll test here. For gather, make sure you have installed uh, GRE, Java Runtime Environment, or Java DDK as well. So now let me load the program inside gather. For this purpose, I have to run gather. I'm waiting. You can see here gather is um, under execution. I will go back. And then I will drag and drop the program. And you can see here, let's assume that you got a software that asking for the activation key. And you don't know about the key. You can see here an invalid key. Activation keys you got into the key. So if I put something like this, of course it's wrong. You can see how the program stopped execution. How I can bypass the activation key. So let me show you. That's what I'm going to tell you. So first of all, uh, I have already loaded the program, but I will delete from here. Uh, when you will open gatherer first you have to create a new project and it will be next project name will be rev c it could be anything depends on you so right now you can see her project is successfully created so i will open the first one and now you can see her gatherer is loading um i'm waiting you have to wait for this as well So now you can see how gather is successfully executed. What I have to do, uh, <clears throat> I have drag and drop the file. The file name is CRE. So I have to drag and drop here. And you can see here, I will click on OK. And now you can see here it's done. So it asking has not been analyzed. Would you like to analyze? No, you can analyze if you want. So if I'll click on yes, and you can see here I will enable these feature as well, features as well, and then I will click on analyze. And you can see here the project file name is this, last modifier is this, read only faults. You can see here everything, compiler ID, Windows, everything you can see. And the compiler name is GCC, which is basically for C and C++, but the version is unknown. And you can see all the details here. So I will click on OK. And now you can see here if I will maximize um, gather. You can see here well, we got a lots of uh, something freaky. And you can see here, here we are getting the addresses and the binary instructions. Uh, the, sorry, I mean the assembly instructions. And you can see here this is the assembly jump uh, F0 uh, GMP jump. You can see here are these are assembly language instruction move is to move some value uh, you can see here GLE all these instruction are assembly language uh, where you can see here in the corner these are the addresses something like this but we uh, you don't really need to worry about this because uh, our task is not related with this or task is just to find a function so you can see her symbol tree 
um, inside this section we got a function folder so you have to click this and you can see here we got the function check auth and you can see here this is the decompiler uh, that will decompile the code and high level language you can see here this is the low level language and this is the high level language which is basically human readable uh, so what happened if I will open this function and you can see here we got the function but if I will just focus decompile and inside we got this function and it check care the text one parameter this is same as we did here you can see so you can see here is trcmp now you can see here this function it's like it's look like the function comparing something with the pass key so now we got the key so the key is pass key so if i will copy the key uh sorry p a double -A s k okay so again if i will open it now you can see her asking for the key so i'm sorry if i will copy the key and if i will paste if i will hit enter and you can see uh, again it's gone but what i have to do if i will reload here okay if i will put first let me put in your own key you can see her activation field now we'll put the copied key that we got from gather here you can see and i paste it so if i hit enter you can see her activation success that means that we have successfully cracked this software we bypassed authentication thank you